Hello everyone, it's Trina here from there is a card for that.ca and today I'm going to be making a holiday card. And it seems kind of early to be making holiday cards, but I got some new lawn fawn stuff, so it just had to be done. Uh, so today I'm gonna to be using the For You Dear stamp set and its coordinating die. And I know I don't normally use the dies, but these ones, because they're like those little bookmarky things, I just figured it'd be easier to get those particular dies than it would be to cut it out by hand, which now that I'm saying it sounds really lazy, right? <laughs> but we both know that I'm super lazy. So yeah, um, I'm also going to be using the new Thanks A Latte set and I'm going to be doing a little bit of paper piecing today, which I know we've talked about lots of times, like I'll never do it. But then of course I saw it and it looks super cute, and I had this tiny little scrap of paper, so it just had to be done. Um, all of the images, the two of them, all of them, <laughs> every time, right, are stamped with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on 110 pound Copic friendly cardstock, except for this scarf that's going to go on the cup. That is stamped with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on this piece of patterned paper. Um, it's one of the perfectly plaid scraps that I had lying around because I'm kind of a hoarder and like, do you see how tiny that is? <laughs> and I only use half of it and I still kept the other half. Because <laughs> you just never know, right? What if I want to do another one and there's another scarf and I want the darker or the cooler tones? It could happen. Who knows? So I'm putting the cup back in the misty because I forgot to stamp like the coffee edge and it would just look silly. Like you probably wouldn't notice if I didn't mention anything like so many other things that I mentioned to you, that you probably won't notice. But I thought it's in there, right? So why not use it? And it's super cute. Um, So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to be fussy cutting out the scarf and I'm cutting right along the edge here like normally I know like when I fussy cut things out and you'll see that with the cup um, later on in most of my images I cut it out as though I were using the coordinating die so it has that cute little white border um, but with this one I just want it tucked right up against the mug itself um, so I'm gonna cut that out with my scissors obviously because you're watching. And then I am going to be taking my black distress marker and just going around the edges just so that it looks better. I mean, you could not do it. And I mean, with pattern paper, it's it's thin paper, so you probably didn't notice. Like when I was doing it, I was like, oh, did I already do this edge? I don't even know. Um, but I prefer it, and it's nice for me. Like if I get in the habit of something, then I want to stay in that habit. So whether it needs it or not, I'm going for it. So I'm going to color my mug and I want the mug to appear mostly white, which means you have to color it with grays. Um, so I'm using C3, C1 and C0 for the mug itself. And I'm just creating the shadows along the edges so that the mug appears rounded. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's been, it's been a while since I've been in my craft room and that makes me kind of sad. And it's not because I'm not motivated. Like I really like being in my craft room, it's super fun and I look at my stuff and I, I like pet my markers because I miss them so much. Um, work has been a little bit crazy. Uh, it's been a little bit stressful and by the time we get home and I have dinner and I'm sorting out the kids. I'm ready for bed. I'm in bed lately, 8.30, 9 o'clock-ish. And that's not like, oh, I'm lying in bed and then I'm reading or I'm watching videos. That's like lying in bed and lights out. I've just been exhausted. And this cold that I talked about in my last blog post and the one before that, <laughs> it hit me like a semi-truck. Like I'm still not 100% and it has been almost two weeks. I actually had to take time off of work, which I absolutely hate doing for being sick. Like today I'm home and yesterday I was home, but that's because I took two vacation days because things got super crazy at work and I was just like, I need a mental health day or two and it's slowing down a little bit right now. Um, so 
I had somebody that was able to cover for me and that was that was great so shout out to you for taking my my two shifts with like zero notice because you're awesome um and I decided I was going to spend a little bit of time in my in my therapy space um so that's been good so back to the card (laughs) I'm just lining up the coordinating die that will cut his little arms out for me because again super lazy right um and I'm gonna run that through my die cut machine and then I'm going to realize in about 10 seconds or less because this is sped up that I forgot to color the actual coffee part I put the line in and just opted not to color it so because the reindeer was already brown I went with a coffee that was very much loaded with cream (laughs) I personally drink my coffee black. Um, I used to drink cream and sugar in it, and now I just can't. Um, I drink my coffee black, but I thought maybe less cream in this fake coffee. And I'm doing air quotes. You can't see it, but I am. (laughs) Um, Less cream in this fake coffee would make you lose the reindeer. Um, So I'm taking my craft knife here, and I'm just cutting out inside the mug and then I'm also going to cut around the edge because I want the reindeer in my coffee because why not (laughs) um so you might notice new craft mat I did get the the tonic Tim Holtz glass mat and I was leery about it at first like I did a lot of reading like am I supposed to just use my my craft knife right on on this mat and yes yes you are and then I was like hmm I don't know about that because My mom did stained glass, and if you score glass and then bend it, it breaks along that score. And I was really worried about that. But so far, it has not happened. Um, If you've watched Tim Holt's video about the craft mat, this glass one, and he talks about how it's a game changer, and I was just like, hmm, is it? Is it really for blending? Yes, it is. I don't do any blending in this, and um, I actually really contemplate it coming up here real quick because I was like, ooh, this is a lot of white, and I don't know if I like that. Um, but it, it's really different. It's even different from using the Rangers nonstick heat proof brown mat that I usually have wrapped around my cutting board. It's very different. Um, way fewer streaks. It's crazy. If it's something you've been eyeballing and you're kind of on the fence about and you're like, eh, maybe wait for Christmas. If you have somebody who's going to give it to you, fantastic. Um, if not... I'd recommend it. So far, it's super great. It even comes with like a non-stick tonic mat and I haven't used that yet because I have no need to. I really don't. Um, So I did put a white panel on top of this white card and that's only because I wanted the stitching detail. So I used Lawn Fawn's largest of the large stitched rectangles and then for this piece of knit picky paper, I used the largest of Lawn Fawn's small stitched rectangles because I have to have everything (laughs) so bad, right? Um, I know you feel my pain. I know you do. Um, And then for this little tag, which is going to be like my focus piece, I used the largest of the stitched circle tags. And I also ran that over some craft foam. And I still had to trim it out, but it wasn't bad. I mean, I've had, I've heard some bad experiences with it, but I was like, eh, I'm lazy. I don't feel like cutting a circle with my scissors. And so here we are. I also cut a piece of the Perfectly Plaid, and I think that's the winter collection from last year, uh, with that same circle die so I could have like a little base for my coffee. And before this part in the video, when I was just chatting away, I did contemplate like sponging something over the white part of this tag see right there I'm like hmm, do I like it do I not like it I don't know I really went back and forth about that and cut out a whole bunch of me just sitting there tapping my finger as I thought about it um very very thoughtful about it today um I opted not to just because it's got the plot in the background it's got the plot on the scarf and it's got the um nitpicky paper so lots of pattern paper because I'm really trying I'm really trying super hard to use the pattern paper that I have And I just adhered everything together with my regular dollar store tape runner. Although I did learn, and it's coming up after this when I try and adhere the tag 
which is just the foam on the bottom now, to the card itself. Kind of ruined my tape runner because it wasn't rolling properly. <laughs> it just gets strung right out. And I was like, aw, and I, there was no fixing it. But at a dollar fifty, or a dollar, I don't know. I wasn't too sad. I was like, well, oh, well, you had a good run. Sad day. Um, here I am just putting some baker's twine through the loop and making a pretty little bow because it just felt kind of unfinished without it. It was not part of my plan to add the baker's twine at all. And then I was like, oh, maybe in red, maybe in green. But then I was like, mm, nope, just going, I'm going with natural here because why not? It felt very busy with all that patterned paper because I don't typically use a lot of patterned paper. So I'm going to place the whole thing, and that's not stuck down yet, into the misty, so I can line up where I want my sentiment to be. And I am using Happy Holidays from the same Thanks a Latte stamp set, and I'm just going to stamp that with Memento Tuxedo Black ink, because I really like my inks to match, which is kind of silly, because the pattern paper makes it look different anyway. Um, but I'm going to stamp that three times, because I want to really bold impression. I had concerted, concerted, wow, considered versifying mark, versifying, yes, versifying onyx black, but I was like, mm, I don't really feel like heat setting this right now. And so you're going to see here, where it starts to really stick and it's like, whoop, that's the end of that. <laughs> there it is. If you didn't see that, just rewind back like five, six seconds and you'll get to see it again because that one is toast now. Um, so out of character for me, I don't use a whole lot of embellishments on this card. I went kind of plain. I'm just adding some Rangers multimedia matte to the bow so that it won't move and it dries matte and mostly clear so you won't see it at all. I just don't want the bow to come undone whether in the mail or in the shop or when my kids touch it because they invariably will. And I'm using a little red gem for his nose because it's Rudolph. And that is going to be our card for today. So thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk and talk and talk. And I've missed you all so much. Please give it a like and a subscribe and a thumbs up. And click on over to my blog and Facebook page for more details. Thanks. Bye.